Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to embed Clavio Form on Shopify. The first thing you want to do is go onto Clavio.com. Once on Clavio.com, you can sign up using your email address and your Shopify store domain name. So once you are on Clavio.com, you can simply fill in that information. After you have done that, you are going to be led to a dashboard just like this. Once on the dashboard, I want you to go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to tap on sign up forms. After selecting sign up forms, you will be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you can either choose to create a form from scratch or you can scroll down and you can select one of their many forms right here. And the reason why Clavio is so highly rated when it comes on to email marketing, especially when it comes on to e-commerce, is because it provides you with numerous templates that you can choose from. Not only when it comes on to forms, but you can also create an email network flow if you want by tapping on flows. But for this example, we are mainly focusing on forms. So you can select the type of form that you want by tapping on all types. Or you can select collect emails, whatever you want right there. So let's say, for example, I were to select collect emails. You can scroll down. You can see the different templates that you can choose from. So let's say I would like to use this template. I can simply tap on it. Then right where you see email subscriber list, you're going to tap right there. And from there, you can select either one of these two options. So I'm going to select preview list. Then you are going to tap on create form. After you have tapped on create form, you will be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you will be able to edit your form. So just give it a few seconds to load up so you can see how it looks at the moment. You can go over to the left hand menu option, tap on styles. Once you have tapped on styles, you can scroll down and right where you see width, you can adjust the width if you want. So if you like it to be larger, you could tap on large. If you like it to be smaller, you could tap on small right there. But I would like it to be medium, so I'm going to leave it at medium. You can also move the side image if you want, but I'll leave it as is. If you would like to change the background color, you can do that by tapping right here where you see background color. If you would like to add a background image, you can also do that. If you would like to toggle off drop shadow, you can do that by toggling off drop shadow right there. But I will leave it on as it isn't affecting it anyway. Then you can scroll down and you can see the different editing options. You can change the font style if you want. You can change the font size if you want also. And you can also change the color of the text. Once everything is there liking, you can tap on back in the top left hand corner. Then from there, you can tap on add blocks if you would like to add something more. So let's say, for example, I would like to add a countdown timer. I could simply drag and place the countdown timer wherever I want. So let's say I would like to place it right there. After I've added the countdown timer, I will show you what to do next. You can see it right there. So from here, I can select the end date if I want, and I can select the start date. So let's say, for example, the end date is the 30th. So I'm going to tap right here, select date, and I'm going to select the 30th. As you can see right there, the end date. Then I'm going to select the end time. So I'll tap on end time right here. After you have selected end time, you can select the time that you want. So I'll select 12 a.m. Then you can scroll down. And if you would like to add animation when the timer ends, you can also do that. Once everything is there liking, all you'll need to do now is tap on back once more in the top left hand corner. And you can see that it has been added. You can also select targeting and behavior. So you can see show on page lo load up and you can see only show on custom trigger if you want. You can turn on lead capture if you want and use the shop app. 
don't show again after submitting form or go to url action you have different display frequencies that you can also choose from and would you like it to be shown on all devices or only certain devices you can select that right there so you can customize which page it is shown on and all of those stuff as you can see right here you can also select the location that the form will be shown on so if you don't want it to be shown in certain locations you can simply tap right there and you can select the locations that you would like it to be shown on after you have done all of this all you'll need to do now is tap on back once more after you have tapped on back if you would like to redirect your customers to another page after they have signed up, you could tap on add step right there and you could add another step. Or you can tap on success right here and you could edit the success message if you want. Once everything is there like in, you are going to tap on publish in the top right hand corner. Once you have selected live, all you'll need to do next is simply tap on exit in the top right hand corner. After you have tapped on exit and you're back on the main dashboard, what I want you to do next is right where you see add forms to website, you're going to tap right there. And all you'll need to do now is simply copy this. So you're going to copy this as you can see, install the sign up forms code on your website in order to display sign up forms and body collect website on your after you have copied this, all you'll need to do now, you're going to go back into your Shopify store and you're going to be pasting this code right before body tag as you can see right here on every page that you would like it to be displayed on. So all you will need to do, you're going to go back into Shopify. You're going to go over to the left hand menu option, tap on online store. Once you have selected online store, you're going to be redirected to the themes page. Once on the themes page, I want you to select right where you see the three dots beside customize and we're going to tap on edit code. After you have tapped on edit code, you will be redirected to this page. Once on this page, you're going to go over to the left hand menu option. And from here, you're going to tap on theme liquid. After selecting theme liquid, you can tap anywhere on the page. And after selecting anywhere on the page, what I want you to do next is you're going to press on Cult F and you're going to see a small box pop up. After the box pops up, you're going to put in body real quick and you're going to tap on enter. After you have tapped on enter, all you will need to do now is paste the code that you have copied right above this. So we are going to tap on enter right there and we are going to paste the code right above body. Then we are going to tap on save. Once you have tapped on save right there, if we were to tap on preview store in the top right hand corner, you will now realize that your pop up has now been embedded on your store. So just give it a few seconds and you can see a pop up right there. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. And you can also see a countdown right here. Thank you for watching.